friends, Larry here, and welcome to Larry's Fountain Pens Review. Now, this is a by request for one of my viewers named Mr. Announcer. His name is Constantinos. Yeah, this was about a week ago, and this is what he wrote and asked me to do, which I'm doing it now, about a week ago. Hi, I would like to know if the triple tail under no pressure for normal riding rides as broad as a Lamy broad. Good question. Which is a little thick for my taste. I can understand that. Some people don't like a real thick uh, lines. If it writes something between a medium and broad Lamy Safari, it will be great. Can I have your comments, please? Well, sir, Yes, sir, and I'm doing that right now, and I'm sorry it took me so long, but uh, with everything going on and uh, some, some of the health issues, it kind of knocks me up and down a little bit, but I'm going to get to it right now just for you, buddy. Okay, so here we go. Now, I'm going to be using uh, the three oyster purple gray that Federalist Pens and Paper has sent me as well. So I can do a review on that and see what you all think of the color of ink. So, here is the Noodler Triple Tail that I found to be an awesome fountain pen. And which I, I got this from Federalist Pens at we, as well. 55 bucks. And this pen just blew me away. A magnificent fountain pen for what? 55 bucks. And you can pick it up at Federalist Pens. I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a whirl. And I'm glad I did. So, we're going to take a good look at this. Okay, Mr. Announcer, let's get a good close-up shot. Let's get everything ready here. All right, two, okay, here we go. This is no pressure at all. And like I said, this is a real wet, juicy nib. Okay, so. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to just do it for right now. No pressure at all. No pressure at all. Okay, so, and then I'm going to do it with some pressure, and a little bit more. And I'm going to check out with a broad nib next, and this is going to be the Lamy Safari with a broad nib, okay, here we go. Okay. No pressure at all. And that's about that's all I'm going to get. So I'll put it right over here next to this one here. And we'll do it again in a minute. Okay. So that's the broad nib. Now we're going to do the Lamy Safari with a medium nib. All right, and I'm going to put the medium nib here. Okay, so now I'm going to do it down here. Here's a medium. And then here's the broad. And here is the Noodler's Triple Tail.
Cut. And then we'll do the broad. Okay, and last but not least, with the medium. There you have it. We got the medium, we got the broad, and we got the triple tail. Now, I guess just for the heck of it, I'll put the triple tail right here against the medium again. No pressure at all, okay? And against the broad. So, what do you think? So again, the ink I used was the three oyster purple gray. Okay. And the pins I used for for comparison was the Noodler Triple Tail, an awesome fountain pen. Super awesome. One of my all-time favorites. Uh, got a little bit of ink left. And then we have the Lamy Safari, another favorite of mine with a broad nib, beautiful color, and the beautiful black matte finish with a medium nib. So you got the medium and you got the broad. And then you got the triple tail right here, noodlers. So to all of the viewers out there, does the Lamy medium and broad, how does that compare to the triple tail with no pressure? Is it, does it write uh, kind of like the medium safari or more like the broad safari or in between or not at all? Get y'all's opinion. So, I hope this answers the question from the viewer that s sent me the, the question to begin with. And uh, after that, my friends, hey, thanks for joining me today on Larry's Fountain Pen Review here in Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, with that said, God bless. Have a great, fantastic day. Don't eat no worms. Be cool like your school. Don't be a gnu. What's wrong with you, my friend? So, peace, love, and don't text and drive. Bye-bye.